do not click on the ad. Have you ever just been scrolling the internet or social media and you see those ads pop up? They can be flashy. They can have some great one-liner that just hooks you and it just captures your attention. But whatever you do, do not click on the ad. These ads are like your random thoughts, those intrusive thoughts that you don't really want, but they keep coming back anyway. What is worse is that they start joining your everyday life and activities. These ads can be so intrusive. If you actually allow those ads to be there, they'll slow down. Sometimes they'll be non-existent. You just told the computer or these thoughts that these ads have no value in your life. You simply are just not interested. When one topic disappears, another may take its place. This new flashy ad seems so important. It's new. You're not used to it. It seems highly important for you to pay attention, but do not click on the ad. When you're scrolling through social media, moving from page to page, and you notice this ad following you, the ad might say, you don't really love your partner, do you? Are you sure that bump wasn't actually a person? What if you push that person into traffic? What if you're gonna get sick now? Have you ever thought about that past experience, how awful it was? Day's the day you need to figure out your identity. How do you even know there's a God? You're a monster and I will show you why. How tempting would it be just to click on one of these ads just to take a peek? They don't know me, seriously. I'm not that kind of person. I am so strong in my faith. I would never harm anybody. I love my partner so much, but let me just click on that ad so I can just see what the fuss is all about. This thought seems so intriguing and that thought goes completely against who you are, which is why you wanna figure it out. Why is my brain saying something that isn't actually who I am? It isn't natural to me. I mean, I would wanna know why these thoughts are against me. I mean, I'm just scrolling through social media. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my homework. I'm watching TV. Why are these ads following me? They're relentless, but do not click on the ad. Great, you now clicked on the ad. Here is what's gonna happen. The ad's gonna make you question your partner. It's gonna show up everywhere. You've just taught your brain that this ad has value. You gave it permission to say, here I am, here I am. Remember me, I'm still here. Thanks for giving me some attention today. I'm here to tell you that this thought has meaning. Thank you for clicking on me and paying attention. In the digital world, when someone actually clicks on an ad, it teaches it that you care. But thus, it, people spend more money to get this ad in front of your face. They often call it retargeting. This intrusive thought is retargeting you. The cool thing is that as it retargets, if you stop clicking on this ad, it will eventually go away. Depending on the budget of the person, it may last a few days, it could last a few weeks, months even. But the thing that we can always count on is that this will slow down as long as you don't pay attention to it. Who wants to spend money or energy on somebody who just simply isn't showing interest? So if you're not getting what I'm saying, do not click on the ad. And here are some tips to give you a better chance at not doing this. Notice the ad, allow them to be there. Don't use an ad blocker. We don't push these thoughts away. We don't try to control them. We let them be. When you're scrolling through and you notice that there's a thought or this ad pops up, it is not your job to click on it. Your job is to keep scrolling. You must give this thought a response like, hey thought, welcome, great to see ya. Sure, maybe, maybe not. Thank you for that thought today. You are welcome to stay as long as you want, my friend. When we give these types of responses, you may have to do them a lot. It shows the brain that you've recognized this thought, but you're not gonna give them any value. It's the I don't care attitude. This attitude is the antidote to intrusive thoughts. Allow them to be there. Respond differently than you normally would and move forward. Continue living life and do exactly what you want to do. These thoughts may infiltrate various aspects of your day and your life, but you do not stop living. You do not stop moving forward. Just like these ads, it's got nothing on you. When you simply give them no value, they don't seem as flashy. They don't seem as important. And when the ad switches, we treat it the exact same way. No one thought is more important than another. Thoughts are thoughts. Let them be thoughts. We can't ignore the anxiety and distress that comes from these thoughts. Just know that this feeling tends to be false. 
It's that extra push just to get you to click on that ad. To me, this is a false signal. Anxiety without immediate danger is false anxiety. It's based on a complete guess on whatever my brain says could happen. We can treat this anxiety the same. Hey anxiety, welcome. You can stay as long as you want. I love that feeling. Oh, my stomach is gurgling. Oh, that's so great. I love it right now. This is full. Wow, thank you. When you respond to this anxiety as if you really just don't care, it doesn't want to stick around. Put your arm around it. It's going to freak out but you're cool as a cucumber, teaching it to no longer freak out about those intrusive thoughts. But guess what? Your brain's not gonna know until you teach it. These ads have nothing on you. You are too powerful. So tell yourself this, do not click on the ad next time you have an intrusive thought that demands your attention. Act as if you don't care. Welcome it, acknowledge it, move forward. This is only a small part of how you can power yourself up with these intrusive thoughts to enhance these skills more. You need to watch this video I'm gonna put here on the screen. I've come up with even more responses to those pesky thoughts. Go watch it right now. It's worth your time and you're gonna to need to know it. Flashy, click on me. I'm important. Hello, buy me. Would you sympically, sympically, sympically? You know, I'm gonna tell you this is important. I'm not gonna say that. To me, this is a false. Oh my goodness, why does this keep falling off?